Welcome to Teach Yourself Good English program from the classroom of Adun Bhasha Academy. I mean, from Modern, Modern Language Academy, located at Ishu Bidwar, Sirat, Bangladesh. Sirat Air Purvosh Vidbajari, a Vasito Adun Bhasha classroom, the Apnazir Shokolke, Modern Language Channel Madhume, Teach Yourself Good English program, the Pokotoke, Salam Oshambasham. Today, the subject of discussion is the use of have. My dear brothers and sisters, this class actually, you know, have is wonderfully and widely used in our everyday life, in our effective use of life. I shall try to give you a focus on how to use have in our everyday life. Just have a look at the blackboard. I think you will enjoy the class, inshallah. The subject of discussion of this lecture is the use of have. First look, number one, have is used as an auxiliary bar. We know this is frequently used in our uh, uh, writing, reading and speaking of you here. Just listen to your dialogue. Have you seen my guide to world bar in here, Bill? Just I asked Bill. Have you seen my guide to world bar in here, Bill? Oh yes, I have learned to take gas, but I thought she has given it back already. But I thought she has given it back already. She has, she has given it back already. R-E-A-D-Y. This one is actually verb. I have taken HSC exam, HSC, HSC exam, exam, higher secondary study exam. I have taken MSc exam. He has finished, F-I-N-I-S-H-E-D, finished his homework. She is school here, homework. homework. So this is, this have is auxiliary verb, this has is auxiliary verb. Now, number two, have use is use as a principal verb, principal verb. As follows, in different ways and in different, the I double F E R E N T, different situation, S U T U A T I O N S, situations. E.g., e.g., for example, I have. A car, American garage. Or you can say, I have a car means I have got a car. I have a car means I have got a car. Got a car. I will show you the use of have got from and have from. Some some people say this one is American English, this one is British English. So this have means I have a car means I possess. P O double S E double S. I possess a car. I possess or I own. I own a car. This one then Malik Hua. Ba odi kari. Bami yata karir Malik. Ato bami yata karir odi kari. Right? She has a house in Silhet town. In Silhet town. Silhet shofare ta harekta baari yache. She has a house in Silhet town. This means she possesses. She possesses P O double S E double S E S possesses or she owns. She possesses a house in Yakti Barir Malik or she owns in Yakti Barir Odigari in Silet Town Silet Shahari. So this have is actually principal verb. In this principal verb, I have as a principal verb used in different ways and different situations. Now I will show you a bit about American English and different use of. Uh, just I will give you a note here. 
just look. In M note, in American English, American English, I have, I don't have, do you have, forms, are more usual, more usual, U-S-U-A-L, usual, then I have got, I have got, uh, have you got, have you got, or I haven't got, I haven't got. If form to actually American English, I have, I don't have, do you have? These forms are frequently used in American English, but in British English, I have got, have you got, and I haven't got. Forms are most uh, common. Now, just look, American English, American English, this one is British English, British English. And one is common English. Common, see. Both US, US and GB Great Britain. US, GB Great Britain. US means American English, GB means Great Britain, British English. Now look. I have a sister. I have got a sister amar ekjon bolcha this one in british form do you have a car apnar ki gari ache have you got a car apnar ki gari ache shoman english and have you a car have you this one is common english have you a car this one is common English. Does she have brother? Does she have a brother? Does she have a brother? Has she has she got a brother? And has she a brother? Has she a brother has she a brother does she have a brother this one american english has she got a brother this one british english and ha has she a brother this one common english for example do you have a change do you have a change apnar ki bangti apnar kache ki bangti ache do you have a change what to ache apnar kache ki bangti ache british english has she Got a change. Apnar kache ki bangti ache. Come on English. Huh? Do you have a change? Have you got a change? Have you? Have you got a change? And have you a change? Have you a change? For example, I don't have. I don't have I don't have a brother or sister Amar I haven't got I haven't got a brother Amar this is these are the actually differences between these two types of English both English are actually same now I'll show you some more usage of have as a principal verb. Number three. Number three as a principal verb have meaning, have meaning 
to take a meal, food, or drink. That's all right. For example, e.g., uh, I have lunch, I have lunch at one. At one. I mean, I have my lunch. I have lunch at one. What time do you have? Do you have a breakfast? Breakfast. What time do you have breakfast? This happens. What time do you have breakfast? I have breakfast at half past seven in the morning. I mean, chocolate, shy, 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 Do you have tea or coffee? Do you have tea or coffee? I mean, shy, shy, coffee, shy, This have means pankara. Do you have tea or coffee? I usually have, I usually have tea. I mean, shy, 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 Chakai. How many cups of tea do you have a day? How many? How many cups of tea do you have a day? Do any company quite cup chakan? How many cups of tea do you have a day? I usually have, I usually, I mean, Shotorator have Pankuri. I usually have three cups of tea. Three cups of tea a day. A day means tonic. So, just we understood that have is used for taking meal or drink. Now we'll see. Number four. Number four, as the principal verb, have meaning to take a bath. Have you ever thought it? Have meaning to take a bath. For example, I am having sorry i can't i can't answer a n s w -E answer the telephone the telephone i can't answer the telephone i am having my box I mean, telling you, I can't answer the telephone right now. I'm having my bath. I'm having my bath. Like this, this habit is used to have a shower or to have a bath. Or I'm having my shower. Number five. Number five. Have meaning to give a party. Have meaning. Is a principal verb. Meaning to give a party. Have you ever Party dewa. For example, I am having an iftar party. Iftar party. This evening, in honor, in honor, in honor of my teachers, of my. Teachers, I'm a sheep cook there some money. I'm your iftar party. The teacher, some day at my residence at my house. Number, I am having an iftar party. I'm your iftar party. This is a Muslim ceremony in the month of Ramadan. I'm having an iftar party this evening on Sunday in honor of, in honor of the phrase some money. My teacher, my teachers, I'm a sheep cook there some money. Number six, have meaning. To entertain guests have meaning 
to entertain entertain guests entertain guest g u e s t s otiti apayam kora hebar ortho hocche otiti ke khawano mehman khawano for example e g she is having 20 people to dinner the idol near to dinner next 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 sunday next sunday next sunday she's having tini khabachchen na payan korachchen 20 people 20 jon lokke to dinner um, dinner khabachchen next sunday agami rubbar number 7 Number seven have meaning to encounter. Encounter, C O U N T E R, encounter, E N C O U N T E R, encounter difficulties. D I W F I C U L T E R, difficulties or trouble. Have a have been to encounter Mukamaki or Shambukin Hall, difficulties or Shubidar, but Babu Shamoshat. Or Shubidar Shamokin Hall. For example, Iji, did you have, did you have uh, any trouble? Any trouble? I mean, troubles with your journey, with, 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 your, with the customs, with the with the customs did you have this help means to encounter some any troubles with the customs custom even other customers or you can say did you have did you have did you have any trouble with your journey with your journey to Chidwa. Chidwa means that you have any troubles with Did you have any troubles with your journey to Chidwa? I did not have an, a very good journey. I didn't. I didn't have a very good journey. I didn't have. I didn't have, I had a lot of troubles, I had a lot of troubles with my luggage, with my luggage, I have a lot of troubles with my luggage, huh? I didn't have a very good journey. I have, I had, I had a lot of troubles with my luggage, not luggage, with my luggage. Now, number eight. Number eight. Number eight. Have meaning to take a lesson. To take a lesson. Have a class kora. Have meaning to take a lesson. E.g. For example, how many? How many lessons? Lessons in class. How many lessons? Do you have? Do you have at college? At college. A day, do any company college quite a class current. Do you how many lessons? Do you have a heavens to take a lesson, take a class? How many lessons do you have quite a class current of me at college? College a day do any. A student can say this, a teacher can say this. I usually have. I usually have. I usually have four or five classes, five lessons, five lessons. A day, I mean, doing pasta class. 
I usually have, I mean, short or short, I usually have five lessons a day. I mean, doing short or short, faster class. Kori. Number nine, have meaning to enjoy. Upubukura, have or touch, upubukura. Usually, usually with adjectives, with adjectives. A D J E C T I adjective. Is it with adjective? For example, e G. I hope you'll have a good journey. I hope. I mean, Ashakuri. I hope you. I hope that. Hope for you. That is a subordinate clause. In spoken English, that is not used. I hope you will have a good journey. Good journey. A journey to a now, this one is adjective. Now, I hope you will have you will enjoy. Have means enjoy. I hope you will have you will enjoy. Have means enjoy. I am having an wonderful. I am having not an a w o n d e r f l wonderful uh, holiday. I am having a wonderful holiday. I am having a wonderful that means I am enjoying a wonderful and excellent holiday. This holiday is now and wonderful is adjective. That's why this have gives the meaning of enjoyment. What are you? What are you doing here? What are you doing here, Bill? Bill, to me, I can keep it. Bill, let's tell him what are you doing here, Bill? I am having a nice drama, a nice drama, drama on TV, on TV screen, on TV screen. I am telling you about that. What car? Natak bhukhorchi. This here means because drama is noun. Noun is such a nice adjective. That that's the reason. Have means enjoyment. Have give the meaning of enjoyment. I am having a me a nice drama on TV screen television for Number 10. Have meaning to wish people usually for holidays. Number 10. Have meaning to wish people. Manuske Duakara. To wish people is it you assume a doll is really for holidays for holidays to teach to teach someone to teach someone with their some amra agon garden go wish kori this have is used wonderfully to wish people for example have a nice journey have a nice journey आपने सुंदर विदेश समय अपने जावा समय जाने जाते हैं आपने आपना शुभ होए हैव एन आइस ट्रिप आपना ट्रिप रहते हैं ना शुभ होए हैव एन आइस ट्रिप हैव ए गुड टाइम हैव ए गुड टाइम हैव एन आइस वीकेंड हैव ए नाइस वीकेंड सब तरह से छुट्टी जाना आपना शुभ होए उपभोग करना आपने we can. Shabtahan the chuti abna shubhok. It has got a wish. Have meaning to wish people is daily for holidays. Have a nice journey. Have a nice trip. Have a good time. Have a nice weekend. Have meaning to offer or to enjoy. Have meaning to offer or to invite. E.g. for example. Have a smoke. Have a smoke. At a cigarette. Huh? That means have a cigarette. Have a cigarette. C I G R E W T. Cigarette. At a cigarette, then just we offer. We invite someone to have a smoke. Have a cup of tea. A cup of tea. Have a cup of tea. Have a biscuit. At a biscuit, then have a Biscuit. Have a chair, please. 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 Have a ch
I can say, have a chair, please. Boshun. Have a sofa, please. Have a sofa, please. Pointing, uh, pointing to the uh, sofa set, I can say, have a sofa, please. Have some more tea, please. Have some more tea, please. Arif Chani. Have some more rice, please. Have some more rice, please. Aro chatta baat nem nem nem. Have some more salad, please. Arif to salad nem, please. Eba we amra offer kori taki. Salad, please. Have some some more uh, curry, please. Like this, have is used for offering something or to invite people to do something. That's all right. Number 12. Number 12 have is used for number of actions. Number of actions in our everyday life. For example, DG, I have a little dress, please. Have a little dress, please. It will be an I don't hear, sorry. L I don't hear, L I don't hear. L I don't hear, L a little rest. At a request. For example, come and, have, come and have a cup of tea, please. Come and have have a cup of tea please cup of tea please it all a sort of request to offer or to invite to offer or to invite Or you can say, uh, for example, a dialogue we have uh, seen in the uh, Round the World in 80 Days by George Byrne. Will you have, will you have me for your wife, for your, for your wife? Will you have me for your wife? This have means to accept, to accept. Will you have me for your wife? It means to accept. And we can say sometimes, uh, ladies and gentlemen, ladies in different functions and programs, ladies, L -A -D -I -S, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? Attention, please. Tarato che shomar the shudhi mandoli. I am here. Apna dil dishti akhon korchi. Shomar the shudhi mandoli. Ladies and gentlemen, shomar the shudhi mandoli. May I have your attention, please? I am here. Apna dil dishti akhon korchi. It is not a question. This is a request. For example, to attract. For to attract. Attract attention. Attention. Ekhane hai bawar karo chhe dishti akhon karo donne. To attract attention. My dear brothers and sisters. That's the end of our today's class and I think you, you have enjoyed the class and we shall see you again very soon inshallah and goodbye.